Okay, so first thing I'm going to moisturize my skin with this ultra light face lotion. It's by Laugh. I got it in my Ipsy, um, my Ipsy subscription last month. And I'm just going to moisturize my face um, just to keep it hydrated throughout the day. So next I'm going to take my MAC Spike Eyebrow Pencil. I'm just going to outline my desired arch. And where there is less hair, I'm going to fill in it more darker than the usual because I want it to look more natural. Where there is more hair, I'm going to fill in it less because I don't want it to look so dark that it looks very false. I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Spoolie. Um, it's a spoolie and an angle brush connected to each other. And I'm just going to brush those hairs into place, making it more uniform. Then I'm going to take my LA Gear Pro Concealer in the color Fawn that you can find at your local beauty supply store for $3.99. And I'm going to take this Sonia Kashyyyk brush and I'm just going to outline my brow to make it more defined. Um, yeah, so I want to make it look more bold and not so black. So yeah, I'm just going to use my concealer just to clean it up a little bit. take my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. The formula is oil free because my skin is very oily. Um, so I'm just going to use that. I'm just going to apply it as a base so that way my foundation and everything that sits on top of it will stay in place for the rest of the day. For, for good. So after I apply that primer, I'm just going to you know, drench my face in a little bit of fix plus just to make sure that everything lasts. Then I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange. I'm just going to cut, um, color collect any dark spots that I may have, which is underneath my eye, around my mouth, underneath my mouth. So I just want to conceal those parts. Then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender that I got from Sephora. It's about 20 bucks, and I'm just going to um, blend out those areas that I have color corrected. After color correcting, I'm just gonna take my Mac um, Match Master Foundation in the color 745, and I'm just gonna use that and apply my foundation to my face, just giving me a nice medium to full coverage. Okay, so being that I had this flat top Kabuki brush that was falling apart, I'm gonna use my Real Techniques face brush, and I'm gonna spray with a little bit of Mac Fix Plus, and I'm just gonna um, blend out the foundation on my face. I'm just going to dab it into the skin first and then after I'm just going to actually work it into the skin. So after I apply my foundation, the same color that I used before for my eyebrows, I'm going to use that which is the color Fawn in LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm just going to use that to do like a, just a little bit of highlight and then contour. So going back with that same beauty blend, I'm just going to blend those areas out, just the highlighted areas underneath my eye, my forehead, and my chin. Okay, so my Laura Mercier powder blue, I'm so sad, blue hoo. So I'm going to use that just to set underneath my eyes the um, areas that I have highlighted. So I'm going to use my beauty blender and I'm just going to pat that, pat that into the skin. Um, the same areas where you saw me highlight, I'm going to place it right there. Now for contour, I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Dark Cocoa. And I'm just going to do like a little slight contour, nothing too heavy. Um, I want to keep it as natural as possible. Hey! 
Now to blend out my contoured areas, I'm just going to spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. This is the e.l.f. Stipple brush and I'm just going to blend that contoured area out. I don't want any harsh lines so I'm just going to keep blending until this like invisible. <laughs> Okay, so to sharpen up my contour a little bit, I'm just going to take that same Laura Mercier powder and I'm just going to place it right underneath my contour line just to bring it out a little bit. And I'm just going to use that to place it underneath. After, I'm just going to um, blend out my nose contour with this angled contour brush from e.l.f. And I don't want that contour to look so, so harsh, so I'm just going to blend it out as much as possible. So after that, after letting the little um, powder cook, I'm just going to sweep that away with this blush brush. I think this brush really gets the job done. This is Sonia Kashyyyk. Oh, their products are amazing. You can find it at your local Target. And I'm just going to use that and just sweep away all the excess powder. Okay, so now for a little bit of highlight, I'm going to use my tapered elf brush and I'm just going to spray it a little bit plus and I'm going to dip it into my Milani Tantastic Big Bronzer and I'm just going to use that just to highlight the highest points of my cheekbone. And I'm going to highlight that, I'm going to highlight my cupid's bow, my nose, and underneath my eyebrows just to give it that more pop. Now to set the rest of the face, I'm going to use Matte Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark. And I'm just going to put that over like the contoured areas along my forehead as well. Okay, so moving on to the lips, I'm going to take Cork by MAC. And I'm just going to outline my lips with that. And I'm going to take Sepia by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'm going to outline my lips first and then use Sepia on top of that. Because I don't want my lips to look like um, I don't have any. So liner works best. Okay guys, here is the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see anything else. Just put it in the comment box. Bitch, I'm cute. The fuck?